Hi, everybody. Sherry from The Watering Mouth here. It's been a minute since I talked to you. I promised I was going to give you a, an update, and it's going to be a bittersweet update. Um, if you see the beautiful woman next to me, <laughs> you might have some idea about what's going on. This is our beloved coach, Nancy. Nancy, thank you so much for being here today. Absolutely. My pleasure to be here. We have a little bit of an announcement here, so I'm just going to come right out and say it. Coach Nancy is going to be leaving the watering mouth and nourish your lifestyle um, for amazingness, okay? So just be patient while we explain what's going on with her. Um, Y'all are going to be super happy to hear what she's going into um, for her own growth and just the growth of everyone around her. Um, okay, so let's talk about that a little bit. First, we'll talk about how we met and what we've done together. So Nancy has been my um, rock, my sidekick, my um, my strength for the last four years we've been working together. We've actually met one time in person, which is amazing. Um, I'll never forget that Ethiopian meal that we shared together at the restaurant. Um, Nancy started with me uh, as a just a watcher of the channel. And she emailed me one day randomly and asked if there was anything she could do to help. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Turns out her strength at that time, which I had no idea was recipe development, man, nutritarian rock star recipe developer. So she started taking on doing our 21 day challenges, our, our um, then to be our five day challenges, et cetera. And she is really a wizard in the kitchen. So if you guys are ever interested in some awesome nutritarian meal plans or recipes, we have a bunch of those in the shop on my website. And those are all, mostly all Nancy's amazing creations from the last few years. But as we grew together, um, this was the time where I was growing into a, a certified life coach as well as a nutritarian expert. And she followed and did the same exact method of coaching. Um, it has been wonderful. She's coached so many clients for me and with me, done some amazing videos. You'll still be able to see all her videos on my YouTube channel. I'll never take anything down. Um, but it's time for her to grow in a new way. So she's always been nutritarian, weight loss, healthy eating type coach, and now she's growing to a new place. So I want to let Nancy talk a little bit about that. And then we'll talk about how you can get a hold of her and still um, follow her and, and all that. So Nancy, I'm going to give you the floor here to talk a little bit about what's going on for you. Thanks so much, Sherry. Um, it's been so fun to work with you. And this was my foray into an online business. I knew nothing about any of this, making videos, anything. So I've learned so much about what it takes and I have coached a lot of people and grown in my coaching chops. And also at the same time, I have gotten two other coaching certifications and because my interest um, was piqued with the emotional piece mm -hmm. um, of the model and how we coach and I really came to believe that the body has a bigger role to play than what I had realized. And so I've gotten coaching certifications in somatic coaching, which is body-based and um, two of them now, one in the art of feminine presence and one in um, pause uh, somatic coaching from pause breath work. So um, I really enjoy the bringing people into their bodies and feeling their feelings. Um, that was a big thing, right? At, in weight loss coaching um, that, that really caught my attention and I wanted to go deeper into that. So, mm -hmm. um, and also I want to offer on, um, I want to transition from online into in-person events. So um, I've always wanted to do retreats. I've done a few in my past and um, I have one scheduled for October and um, I want to continue doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, which I am doing now on my own and just a different brand. And um, also um, online, I mean, in-person ladies circles, um, okay. which is what I have done before in for the Art of Feminine Presence. And so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to to fly a little bit. That's what I told you when I, when I gave you my notice. I'm like, I'm ready to yeah. fly. Yeah. Um, 
And I couldn't be happier for you. I just want to ask you, what is the name of the brand? What's your brand? What's your company name or your business? My company name is Restoring Hope and Joy. I had chosen that name years ago when I first got up my first um, coaching certification in 2012. And um, so I've used that kind of as my doing business as yeah. name. And I, it just says it all for me um, because I want people to feel more hopeful and more joyful. And to me, that means at this juncture, it means being in their bodies, getting better at feeling so that they can feel better. Um, and so I feel like I'm a guide, a guiding people into their bodies and to to move, lean into those emotions that we may want to move away from. Um, I find such value in that. Um, so leaning into- so, so what you're saying is some of the emotions that we feel afraid to feel, what do people do with those and, and how are they- useful why are they actually valuable why are, are, are why is feeling it actually valuable right that's right yeah it's, it's kind of like metabolizing them alchemizing them it's, okay it, as we as we lean into fear or grief let's just do fear as we instead of not wanting to feel the fear and resisting it it's going to persist. That's what happens. What we resist persists and, and it's going to be there. It may go underground and create an acid stomach or, you know, indigestion or whatever. It's going to show up in your body somehow. Mm. So let's, is my belief. So let's move towards the fear and actually feel it. And I do that in a very gentle manner and um and breathe into it and experience it and find out what that is what that emotion is saying because the fear has something to say and um and so leaning into rather than away from and mm -hmm. then it releases and it's amazing the difference that you can feel in one session of just actually moving towards it and taking away the fear of the fear or the fear of that um, discomforting emotion. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you're saying is actually processing emotion, feeling these emotions, learning more about your emotions allows you to feel better with them. But also what does this mean then that once you have um, more hope and joy, more peace, more of these kinds of things, what kind of things can result out of that? Like what, what kind of changes would people be able to make if they were able to face these things and process this or metabolize them, as you say? Great question. I'm thinking of a client that I've worked with who um, we simply dropped into her body. And what came out of that process was that she needed more energy. She just was depleted by the end of the day. We actually were talking about weight loss and we were okay. talking about why is she overeating at the end of the day and she needed energy. And so she falsely went to food for it. She wasn't, it wasn't really hunger, but it was a mm. depletion of energy. And so as we moved into her body about that intuitively, she discovered, Hey, the, my schedule at work just doesn't work for me. It's too intense. I work four long days. So um, that came out of it. And then from there, she left the session, played with her schedule. She is self-employed. She could, you know, do that. Mm -hmm. So she changed up her work schedule. And the next time we talked, she said, Nancy, it's changed my life. Just that, right? Wow. Just and, and being able to, to put the, for her to put the pieces together that, you know, she'd probably been getting the idea that she's depleted at the end of the day and this wasn't sustainable, but, but out of the session of going into her body and having her body lead us, mm. um, that's what happened. So that's just one example of what can happen. We never know. Yeah. <laughs> and so what, what's coming up for me is this awesome idea that, um, and we talk about this a lot in coaching actually, is that it's not the coach that teaches you anything. It's your own internal wisdom that's always there, but it gets hidden behind, you know, lots of things, advertisements, patterns, you know, learned behaviors, all these kinds of things. 
And so a lot of people end up feeling very disempowered. Um, but what we're saying is that the solution is in here already. And it's just sort of a bringing out that we do. I wanted to make another point about you really briefly said this, but it might seem scary for someone to do this, but it's actually a very safe way, a very comforting, safe way of being able to process this stuff um, in a place where not just to be able to get things out, but to be able to actually create some change out of it as well, um, maybe down the line, but to process these feelings as a very safe um, exercise to do with somebody who's trained in something like somatic coaching. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And I have a little note that I always want to remember to, to bring out this point, and this is a perfect time to bring it out. Mm -hmm. When we name something, it, it, it releases right? Mm -hmm. when, when name, just naming it. Cause sometimes we don't even know, like, like my client didn't know what was, I mean, she knew she was depleted, but we, we moved be, you know, beyond the depleted feeling and, and, and bringing it out, naming it just, mm -hmm. just we can release it. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but a lot of times because it feels uncomfortable and you feel vulnerable, to even go there, yeah. we slow down. but yeah. the safe space that I create and the, um, what I've been told is I'm soft. So my soft yet strong, <laughs> which is such a strength. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, where folks can open up in a safe trauma informed way. Mm -hmm. Um, and I hold you and it is a collaboration. It's yeah. client and it's a partnership and client yeah. and coach partnership. Yeah. And um, it, it releases pressure. I've always said coaching is a release of the pressure valve, yeah. right? Because mm -hmm. just open up to things that if we keep them in, it just creates pressure, anxiety, stress. Yeah. Um, so, so now that we kind of have the background here of your background, your internal workings as a coach, the the name restoring hope and joy means so much now it's so um so much depth and beauty um we've often talked about how one of your biggest strengths is holding space for the helpers right so um the people who um the people who help who helps them right and so um you have a lot of experience working with doctors and nurses and things like this and so certainly those type of professional helpers but helpers in general, right? Um, um, wow. Moms, right? That's the big one that we were talking about just a minute ago too, is like moms and people who are taking care of their elderly parents, this kind of a thing, who takes care of those folks, right? The the religious leaders, the pastors, the rabbis, these folks who are really holding that space for other people to grow, uh, to teach them, they often don't realize that they need just as much support, <laughs> right? And so that's really kind of where you're going. So to recap here a little bit, um, uh, so starting off on your own, wanting to really get in person, but I wanna just mention that um, doesn't have to be in person. So anyone watching this video can still work with Nancy if that's interesting to you. Um, and wanting to, the in-person sort of connection is so important for Nancy and wanting to do retreats. So as she said, there's a retreat coming up in October in her area, she lives in North Carolina. So also if North Carolina feels like a nice place you'd like to take a trip to, which it is by the way, um, that's totally available as well. She will have some more information coming up about things, but I wanted to give um, folks a place to find you uh, going forward. So we've talked about the best place to find you is on your Facebook page. Um, it's Facebook. The You just can search for Restoring Hope and Joy. And Nancy comes up first, which is nice. I'm going to put a link for it down below in the description here. And um, so go give her a like. Okay. She just created this Facebook page. I want everyone to just, this doesn't cost anything. doesn't take any time. Follow the link go to her page and just give her a little like, okay? So we can start to build her page for her a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna give you that page, go follow her there. That's where she's gonna be doing all our updates on the retreats and things like that. I'm also gonna put her email address down below in the description too, restoringhopeandjoy at iCloud.com. So you can 
email her anytime you want. Um, and then also Nancy said that she has a little PDF and a video, just a brief um, PDF and video that helps you start getting into this um, type of work. And there's a little exercise in there to help you with this. Uh, so, and Nancy can give that to you if you shoot her an email or just message her on Facebook or something, okay? Okay, Nancy. Um, this is a sad moment for me. <laughs> um, it actually is very sad. We have so many memories together, so many meetings and things we've done. And I'm such a, you know, this is such a small business that I've had to change things so many times. And you've just been such a trooper dealing with me and growing with me. And I'm just so honored to have met you, to have had you um, bless my business with your amazing work and um, bless the folks, the clients really in the family, everyone in the Facebook group and everything with your knowledge and your love over these years. So I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Um, I wish there was a stronger word for that, but there isn't. Um, just thank you for everything, for being there for me, for putting up with me and, um, and um, being such a good sport. And also for um, maybe thank yourself for being strong right now and going off for yourself and doing the the thing that feels right for you. So thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you for taking a chance on me because <laughs> it, yeah. I was just a random person, right? And yeah. um, we have grown something beautiful and the community that you have in the family and in the Facebook group um, is beautiful. The followers on YouTube, it's been so fun to, to read the comments and and to, to really help folks on their journey. So I'm just doing it in a different capacity now. And thank you for all of your love and your um, trust in me with your baby, your business, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, well, let me see if I have any other notes here, guys. Um, remember the retreat in October, she's got her Facebook page, that video in the PDF, and if you're not if you're not ready for any of that, please, right now, just go down to the description, click on her Facebook page, and just give her a like. Just press that little button. That'll be really helpful for her. Um, and if you have the opportunity, even give her a review. Those re reviews are really important for professionals and clients, uh, uh, coaches like us, um, so that people can understand what uh, what they're getting into when they deal with somebody like us, because. It's such a transformative experience to work with a life coach. Um, and Nancy coached me for a while too. And it was, I, I still remember some of our sessions and they really, really changed like these massive light bulb moments. And I want to say also that it wasn't her like teaching me. It was the space holding that created that because the wisdom is inside of us and your joy and your hope is waiting to explode and, um, and fuel you into a much uh, into a beautiful place. Okay. So thank you, Nancy. I love you. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Stop. <laughs>